Hey, Shalon Winter here bringing you another video on futures day trading. Today's video is going to be what system do I use to trade myself? Uh, what system? How do I do it? What strategy? I'm going to go over that. What do I use? Because there's so many different systems out there. Um, I'm a scalper, so I go for quick trades. And in my opinion, there's three things that makes you a successful day trader. And the first thing is having a strategy, a proven strategy that works. The second thing is having strict money management. The third thing is being extremely disciplined. So I'm going to go over that first one today in this video. What system, what strategy do I use? The others I'll cover in other videos. So stay tuned. Let's dive right into this. <laughs> All right, so the system that I use in strategy is with Apex Investing. So they do have their own proprietary software and system to actually, you know, with strategies that you can use for your trading. And that's what I use. I know you may know that I, I use uh, Apex Trader Funding for my funding source, which that is separate from Apex Investing. Apex Trader Funding, if you don't know what that is, uh, there's going to be a link up here on the top to see another video. I explain what the Apex Trader funding is. But this is the Apex investing software um, or charting system and strategy. This is what I use. And it's, it's based on orders and order flow momentum of what's actually happening in the market right now. So it's, it's a lot different. They have their own... Uh, system which it's called order prints where we use diagnostic bars and we and it, it tells us exactly what's happening in the market at every second it helps us read the market and I'll go over that real quick but the uh, let's see <clears throat> the program that I use the trading program I do use ninja trader all right so I know there's all sorts of other different charting software out there um, you know different all kinds of different ones. So I use Ninja Trader, and if you look here on the screen, this is my Ninja Trader. Um, now, when I'm trading, I always keep my positions tab open, and I just keep it minimized down here somewhere. That way, when I'm in a position, I will see my positions that are open, and when I close a position, or trade here then I'll see that there's no more open positions it will be blank just like this uh, because I do use what's called an apex trade copier which is here and it allows me to copy all my accounts together simultaneously at the exact same time when I'm taking a trade and I do go over that in my video about apex trader funding on why that's great so um, because you don't want to take a trade and get out of it and just just to find out one of your other accounts has an open position still and now you know you have a, a phantom order out there that you could be losing or winning <laughs> you don't want that so all right so I always keep that there now let me show you real quick what most people are used to seeing when they're looking at a chart let me open up a new chart I trade the NASDAQ NQ. Let's see. Most people have like a minute chart open, something like that. So we'll do a one minute. So, <clears throat> and you'll see the difference. I want to show you the difference between what you're probably used to seeing chart wise and the apex charts. And I'll go over the apex charts and why they're so great and make a huge difference if you're doing intraday trading. You know, that's in and out of trades, same day, scalping, even for, you know, small swing trades. But um, your traditional charts that, like, let's see, let's go ahead and open a chart here. I'm just going to load one day because just for the sake of this video. And you don't need to know how to open a chart with this system right now because I'm just going over the actual uh, system and strategy, not the technicals of how to. So I'm just going to open... Let's see here. Open up this one minute chart. 
right quick. And I'll bring that over here. Okay. <clears throat> Most people are used to seeing a chart like this, right? You've probably seen a chart like this. You have your 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 bars here, your candlesticks. Uh, pretty common, nice and common chart. One minute chart. You can load, you know, five minutes, thirty seconds, whatever you like to load. And from here, what most people do is they'll add, for example, some indicators. You know, you might see. Uh, some people might load up a RSI, some moving averages, right? SMA, uh, common nine day moving average, something like that. Um, you know, maybe a 20 day. And let's throw in a 50 day. So I might even go 200 day, something like that. You'll see something very similar to this in a lot of trading. You got your RSI. Um, you got your moving averages and you color coordinate them to know which ones are which. Uh, to see trend, basically. Then, you know, you'll get some support, throw some support and resistance lines in here. Right? Support, resistance, things like that. This is your, your very common, typical uh, chart, right? So how does this work? What does it tell you? Well, it tells you if you're trading the trend, you know, you're in an tr upward trend and it's pulling back, hitting a resistance here, you know, maybe you'll take the trade long, um, or this was resistance turned support, you know, back here was resistance, bounced off of it, take a trade back to the moving average. Oh, there's all sorts of ways. Watch the RSI down here when it's oversold, overbought, you know, over overbought. You get a, a pullback, many different ways. Now, the problem with this is if you're intra-trading, intraday trading, these indicators are lagging indicators. This is based on history, right? Based on the averages of what's happened, um as far as your indicators here. Okay, so let's clear this out. Let's see, drawing tools, we're gonna remove all that. We're gonna remove our indicators. And we're just gonna go back to blank. Now what we do is we use what we call diagnostic bars, okay? They're not Renko. They're diagnostic. They're not tick. They're diagnostic bars that Apex has here, okay? For the NASDAQ, I'm going to put it on uh, 10 ticks, okay? And let's switch this over. And here we go. So now... Let's zoom out a little bit. These bars, okay, are purely 10 ticks. It only makes a new bar when the price moves 10 ticks. It has zero time attached to it, only when it moves 10 ticks, okay? Now, also, there's going to be Apex has their own deviations. Deviation levels. I want to show you that real quick before I really get into these order prints and why they make a difference. Okay, so deviations are the expected movement in the market for the next day. Okay, let me really scrunch this up. Now, these deviations, they're looking into the future. They're not like your standard deviations. These are coded completely different that Apex, you know, specially coded um, 
you know, based on implied volatility and a whole bunch of other metrics that gives you the expected movement for the next day. So if the market, you know, is up here and it moves the, the, the long, the further up, you know, for example, if the market's going up, the further, if you get to a one deviation, that means it's moved pretty high. And there's only so high that the market, the, the probabilities of that the market's going to move. Uh, I mean, there's only so much. It, obviously, the market can do whatever it wants. <laughs> but probability-wise, for each deviation that you get to, it has a lower probability of getting to the next one, right? So settlements where you start at for the day and... Between the plus 0.25 and the minus 0.25 is very likely it's going to reach one of those, right? And then if it goes up to the 0.5, it's pretty likely that can happen. But then each one above is less likely. Okay, so these are good to, to watch as far as market movement, the expected movement, how far up or down that it could go. Okay, so I just want to point those out. So... Let me go back and remove remove this, and I'm going to put it back on one minute because I, I really want you to see the difference between typical standard trading charts and Apex order prints. Apex order prints are game changer because what do we know about the market? What moves the market? Orders. <laughs> Plain and simple. Orders is what moves the market, right? If you have orders up here uh, to get to the price of, if the price is at 10, to keep it simple, and you know you have orders, it, it takes orders to come into the market to move the price to 11, right? Or people to sell orders to move it down to 9, so you have to have orders. That's all that moves the market is orders. We know that. So if you can see the orders and see what's going on, it makes a huge difference because I'm going to put it back here again. One minute, just for example, whatever you trade. Some people trade five minutes, 30 seconds, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Whatever you trade. This is what your, your chart looks like. Right, and then you have all these other indicators on there. Whatever the indicators you are uh, that are on there that you like, great. All right, so let me move this one to the side. Let me bring this one over. This is our our apex order prints chart, right here. Does it look intimidating? <laughs> There's a lot going on, but it's very simple actually. All these lines mean something, and it all has to do with orders and a little bit of momentum and volume, okay? Because orders, like I said, move the market. Orders, plain and simple, moves the market. But then if you know how to measure out the momentum or the strength of those orders, then you can have a sense of, it gives you an idea of, of where the market's going to go, how far is it going to go, is it exhausted? Things like that. So before I really, before I dive into this, and this is just going to be a, a brief overview of this Apex system and why I trade it and why it's been absolute game changer for me in my trading because I've tried all sorts of different trading strategies. Um, I've paid for all sorts of different, uh, you know, guru trading strategies, things like that. Uh, and, and none of them gave me the accuracy that apex trading system. Uh, I mean, it just, I could see the market so clear, but I could go on forever about that, but let me open up another chart here so I can show you something really neat. Okay. Because some people have seen order flow, right? Order flow charts where you load up 10 ticks, whatever it is, uh, 30 tick charts, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And then you have order flow, right? Um, that's nothing that's, I guess, brand new. There's some people that do that. 
Um, let's see here. But I'm going to show you the difference between Apex order prints and just an order flow chart because there's a huge difference. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I have this on here right. 10. Da, 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 okay. All right. So let me open this one. Okay. And then I'm going to load up a template real quick. All right. And if you've traded, um, one second. And if you've traded order, order flow before, then this might look kind of familiar. But like I said, the difference is there's order prints and then there's just an order flow chart. Okay, so now it's loaded up. So this might look familiar if you've ever traded or order flow, where inside, okay, basically these, what you're seeing here is, let me, here we go. What you're seeing here is what you are seeing on this chart, okay? Okay, put them side by side. All right, what you're seeing here, these inside each one of these bars, right? This the, each bar is 10 ticks. Like I said, they all have they have a wick cuz they can move up or down, but they close after 10 ticks. A 10 tick move up or down. And if you don't know what ticks are, or how futures works, how it moves, then you can watch my video that I have called "What Is Futures." <laughs> so, link right up above. Uh, you can go ahead and check that out. But inside these bars, you have here. Each one of these is one of those bars, right? And inside of it is showing. This is all. Um, calculated by algorithms okay and inside is the orders at that price level so if you look here inside this bar there's two orders right here at this price 14,183.75 if you look to the right right there there's two orders there two contracts two orders okay one order there nothing up here there's three orders there's two okay one one so each bar has orders and if we know the market is only moved by orders, don't you think it's important to know, you know, where the orders are and what they're doing versus just looking at a chart that looks like this with some indicators on there that just tells you historic movement with lagging indicators because those indicators are lagging compared to looking at actual orders that are happening right at this moment. Okay. So we're having, you're having to wait by the time one of those indicators crosses or moves or gives you your setup and you get in, I'm already probably getting out and taking profit of my trade. I mean, pretty simple. Uh, and I'll show you that. I'll show you why. But here, you're blind. So if we come back here, I can see what's happening. You know, and, and these are coded in a way on this chart. I don't have to watch this. This is what we call an order print, order flow chart. I don't have to watch this while I'm trading. Okay, if I zoom back, I mean scroll back, I can see because this leaves what we call order prints on our trading chart which tells us clues as to what's happening in the market based on the orders that's being filled and submitted. Okay. And that's that simple because like I said, nothing else moves the market, but orders. If I place a order to buy 
a contract. There has to be somebody on the other end selling me that contract. So what that what's what's being said there is me, my in my mind, if I buy a contract and I'm buying it, I'm thinking, hey, the market's gonna go up. I have to have somebody on the other side thinking, oh, I need I think the market's gonna go down, or I'm gonna sell it because I've already made money. Whatever it is, I need somebody on the other side to sell me that contract. Okay? Plain and simple. Now, let me move this one off to the side and let's go over order prints right quick. So this tells us a story, okay? Each little thing on here has a meaning and a cool thing too is it does, I don't have it loaded on here right now, but we also have, um, actually I'm gonna go ahead and Put it up here we have it'll auto plot some support and resistance for us as well and it'll also auto plot what's called dynamic magnets on there and it's a um, you, you'll be able to see it really bounces the price bounces off of these magnets because these are areas of, of basically institutions that move the market to and from those areas okay so I'm just gonna load this one up right quick uh, da, 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 da. okay all right in this chart we don't watch it because it'll auto plot these magnets onto our other one so each of these orange lines here are magnets. The price is attracted to and bounces off of them. Okay, so that's pretty. That's just another neat thing that is built into this. I don't need to really go over those because the main thing here is the order prints. Okay, as you can see, this is one of those magnets. It auto plotted it here. All right, so what do we have here? Okay, I'm gonna scroll back. Let me zoom in a little bit just so we can get a better view. All right, it's leaving a lot of these lines here, okay? So as I mentioned, so this blue line, if you can see, let me put on my cursor. This blue line, this is one of those deviation levels, okay? And a lot of times the price will chop at it. But for right now, we don't need to go over that either. So what is this telling us? This box, okay, when you have a, a red box like this, that tells us that's called an, an X box. That's an exhaustion box. The price got exhausted right there at that level, okay? Simple. Right here, we have a green one. The price got exhausted right there, okay? What do we have here? This percentage is called, we call it ODD. It's a form of divergence here and exhaustion. Okay, so if the market's coming up, right, hits here, has a little pullback, goes up higher high, but what it did was it went up even higher on 52% of the, of the amount of contracts than it had before. So it went up even higher on less, meaning it's probably tired now. It's probably exhausted. And then what happened? It went down. It came down. Now, again, I'm a scalper, so I don't need big moves in the market. I just need quick. My target for the day is 40 ticks total. That's my profit target. And in my video where I explain it, trader uh, funding, Apex trader funding, I do go over how you can make a ton of money by only getting 40 ticks per day. So you don't need these huge runs. You don't have to have it. But so in my case, if I took a trade because it got exhausted and you grab five points, that's 20 ticks, you're halfway to your profit goal. Okay. This is not a trade. I'm just explaining. So let's scroll back early 
in the morning where there's more going on. Okay. So I can really explain here. All right, so. Okay, here's an example. This isn't the best example or the best trade, but it's an example that I want to show you. So market's coming down. We have a lot of chop here, right? Okay, so market pulls back further down on 52% of the contracts. Then we have what's called an Xbox. Like I mentioned, it's green, so it's exhausted to the short side, and it has this little blue dot inside, if you see there. That's called trapped orders. So trap orders got trapped there. It's exhausted. It came down further on half of the volume, right? So this tells us the market's probably exhausted right here. And it's going to go up at least 10 ticks from the close of this bar. Okay, and it does. Because each bar is 10 ticks, so up here, 5, 10. So if you were just taking a quick scalp of 10 ticks, you could have grabbed 10 ticks right there. Okay, and my point is, is that this is telling me what's happening in the market. It's the probability is so high that these work out because it's actually, like I said, based on orders, contracts, and what's happening in the market versus some indicator that you got to wait for and wait for something to cross lines and things like that. But this is telling us at this moment, when this came down here, it's exhausted. It came down on half of the volume. Orders got trapped that they didn't get filled and the market's leaving without them. That's nice. <laughs> it really tells us what's going on. Okay. This little teal line here, it's called a zone of interest. This purple one, it's called a zone of interest. Okay. That means this zone has a lot of interest in contracts. When you see a yellow mark like this, that's called a cluster. That means there's it it's there's a fight on both buy and sell side. It's clustered, right? So there's a little bit of fight going on. So that, that tells you too, there's a little bit of fight going on here. It's exhausted. Orders got trapped, came down on half the volume. If this bar closes up, more than likely it's gonna go up a few more bars. Okay. And so the orange line here, that's what we call a paw. That means the price is a weak area for price, okay, right here at this, this moment. The white line is called a mini magnet. And what that means is that the, the price is attracted and bounces off of these mini magnets. These are other more areas where everything is based, like I said, on, on contracts. So this is... In the, in the past, this has been an area that has price has been attracted to and bounced off of based on the orders right at this level. Okay, so the market comes up, hits this mini magnet because it's attracted to it, leaves a paw there, has an exhaustion box, leaves a paw saying price is weak right there, and then look what it does, comes down. Pretty incredible, right? So I'm able to actually read what is happening exactly in the market by watching this chart versus when I come to this chart, what am I really reading here? Okay. Like I said, I can throw on some indicators. You know, there's all sorts of indicators, SMA, moving averages. I mean, you got Fibonacci's, you got RSI, you have all these things which and support and resistance and all they're telling you, they're just giving you a probability of the market's going to bounce or move from this point because it happened at one point or, you know, things like that, that more than likely. Um, so, but you're not seeing what is happening with the orders. Okay, that's the that's the bad thing. You're blind. Here I see exactly what's happening with the orders because 
I will keep repeating this <laughs> until I'm blue in the face, but orders moves the market. For example, we have a long trend here, right? Trend going up, up, pull back, up 72% of the volume. So it made a higher high on 72% of the volume. Okay. This reversal bar closed down, more than likely it'll go down a couple more bars. So if you're a scalper like me and you're just grabbing, like here you grab 10 ticks, that's all, you know, 10 ticks at a time, you get a few trades, boom, you're done for the day. Okay. This is called deviation reversal right here. Um, this indicator and this tells us um, also the strength so let me find a let me find a good area to show so when this gets low for example markets coming down here right It's coming down, pulls up, it went down further, 58% of the volume of the previous pullback, or the previous down, okay? So it's getting exhausted, but then down here, what this is showing us is that up here, the volume was higher, okay? Pulled back, came down further on less volume, right? So even further confirmation that this trend might be getting tired. In this case, it still came down a little bit more and then went up. But then, you know, there's a big downtrend here and it pretty much phased out, right? So if we're only needing a couple, you know, short amount of small amount of ticks as a scalper, I'm mean, look here. 58% goes up a couple more bars. Okay? Now, I'm not going into what we have as valid Apex trades. I'm not showing you what's a good trade or not right now. I'm just really explaining to you why I use these Apex charts, okay? And mainly it's because you can read the orders here in the order prints. And I'll show you too, if you go to the Apex website, apexinvesting.com, this is where you get more information about the system, okay? And up here, free Apex Sniper Trading Bootcamp. Check that out. Come here. There's a whole bootcamp on, on how, how it all works. It teaches step-by-step step what every single thing is. And... You can sign up for free, 30 days for free. Do not have to put a credit card in there because they're so confident in their system that once you see it and once you learn it, you'll understand that there's just nothing better out there. Uh, they're that confident in it, and, and I agree. So they go into basically everything. I mean, this is just kind of like an overview of, of the system itself. Um, but you just got to sign up for free it has a little video. What is apex sniper? You just sign up. You don't have to put a credit card in nothing like that. And check it out. Give it 30 days. And like I said, it's a boot camp step by step instructional videos on what everything is. And believe me, you're not going to regret it because it's been the best thing ever for me. Okay. So this is what we call our 10 tick chart with our order prints. Like I said here. So if I'm reading this market, I can actually read the orders of what's going on. Markets coming down. Here's a previous Paul that I mentioned. Here's a mini magnet. The market comes down to them, leaves another Paul there, right? And one of these zones of interest saying this is an interesting area and this bar closes up. So it couldn't break down lower than that. Okay. So this is a very, very, very great way of reading the market. 
All right, so here's another chart that we use called simplicity. It's called simplicity because it's just that. It's very simple. <laughs> and these are, this is a 30 second chart. This is the only chart we use that does not contain order prints plotted directly on it. Now, this chart is an amazing chart that was created just by um, Apex. Nobody else has this, this indicator, this chart here. This is not any type of moving average or anything like that. These, these lines here are plotted from implied volatility and expected pricing of options contracts. Okay, one is e of each. Now what happens is, this is a 30 second chart, but the beautiful thing is, is it, this is almost, it's almost like it's predicting the future. <laughs> this thing is so incredible. When you pair this with reading the market with the order prints that I mentioned, right? It's just amazing. You have such an edge that's absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna, the way it works is very simple. When you have two lines of the same color, for example, green to go up, obviously, angled up, and then the next bar breaks the high, okay? Then we have what's called a simplicity trade. And when the two lines are angled, that means price and volatility is agreeing. And the, the probability of it going up in that direction is extremely high, as you can see right here. So if you got in a trade right here at this point, at about 14,185, let's say for example, then you ride it all the way up. And then once the bar closes below the solid line, you exit. So right here, you would've got a five, eight point run. Okay, that's not a lot right now. This was at the end, this is not even, if I go to the market open, you'll see how it works from there. So as you can see, you get big, you can see big runs from here. This here is a price at 13,919 and runs all the way down to 13,833. <laughs> so it shows you the run down. Obviously, you're not just going to get in here and know exactly where to run down, but I'm my point is just showing how this works. When the when the lines agree, they're angled the same direction. That means price and volatility is agreeing and probably the, the price is going to run in that direction. And as you can see, look how it works. Okay. This long run up here. I mean, this is a long run all the way from 986. I mean, all the way up to that's a 50, 55, 60 point run. Okay, so this is awesome when you pair this with the order prints and what this does, the order prints chart gives you trades. We take trades that are anywhere from 10 ticks, 20 ticks, something like that in that area. Uh, and then this one gives you bigger trades. Okay, this, this chart here. But all it, what this does, you pair it with the order, order prints chart. Just looking for my order prints chart that I had. So you pair them together, you get the direction from here paired with, oops, paired with your order prints chart and you take one of those trades whenever the order prints chart is telling you the market's exhausted or something, you know, one of the indicators here um, and your probability of, of getting wins is just ridiculously high. Now, Apex does have a set of rules. They have different trade setups. When you see certain things, you get in, uh, you set an ATM strategy here, okay? Whatever, you know, they have different ones. There's different ones. You set a strategy, you buy in, it places your stop loss, your profit for you, depending if you're going for, you know, what type of trade. There's basically three types of trades. There's sniper trades that are nine tick winners. Um, there's what we call a low risk simplicity entry trade. It's a LRE. Uh, those are anywhere from five to 10 point winners. 
And then you have simplicity trades that those can be 10, 10 points, 20 points, 30 points, just depending on the market read. But so basically three different ranges of trades. But in the boot camp, they actually go over every single trade, exactly how they work, what to look for, a set of rules. And if you follow these rules and take these trades, this scalping setup, I mean, this this Apex Sniper setup is just ridiculously highly accurate. And I mean, I've been using it for the since I've been trading futures uh, for two years here, and it's just absolutely game changer. So that is why I use this system versus our, you know, your regular timed candlesticks. Okay. Because as I mentioned, I'm reading what's happening in the market live instantaneously. Now, again, this is for intraday trading. If you're in and out of trades or, um, you know, a couple hours of trading, intraday, intraday trading. This is not something where if you want to hold for multiple days, you know, that's not really, I, mean, I guess you can use it, but this is, is, is for reading what's happening in the market right this second, right now. So just wanted to go over that. This is what I use and be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow, share, uh, like I said, I'm going to, I'll have, this is, this is step one, in my opinion, on being a successful day trader. Okay. Having a strategy, a system, an edge that's proven that works great. And then I'll go over in, in further videos about strict money management and also about discipline, because those are the other two keys aside from this one on what you need to be a successful day trader. All right, so tune in, uh, subscribe, like I said, and I'll catch you on the next one.